I'm Jack Harris, and currently I'm a professor of anthropology at Rutgers University in New Jersey. Co-direct a field school, an international field school, which is a collaborative project between Rutgers University and the National Museum. And in 2004, as part of the work of the field school, we found uh, some fossil footprints dated to 1.5 million years. And that's the time interval we, where we see the emergence of Homo erectus that has modern body size. And one of the real questions we're trying to find out in this time interval and could be for us so important a site yielding evidence not only of the skeletal remains of Homo erectus but evidence of the locomotion in this individual, these, these individuals uh, that are specimens of Homo erectus ranging over this landscape and leaving their footprints but in addition to, their, to the footprints of Homo erectus and maybe other species of hominids on this landscape at that time uh, there are uh, other animal footprints and this trail of footprints uh, that you can see here uh, provide us with, uh, with a unique snapshot in time of the animals that were living on this landscape 1.5 million years ago. The, the footprints were something that I'd never had the, the uh, fortune to excavate in the past and and so we, we saw the outline of these footprints in the strata, in the geological strata at, at the site at the time. And we've got a unique trail of, of fossilized footprints of animals that were walking across a muddy surface and leaving their imprints in that surface. So there's a range of animals here from ungulates, antelopes, uh, carnivores, uh, through to um, hominids and I'm just going to walk over here and, and show you the trail of hominid footprints that are here this is a, a, a right print a left print and then going back to a right print uh, and these are unique prints that have preserved uh, and recording what we think are uh, Homo erectus prints, they've got the modern human condition or more modern than any other prints that have been found previously of earlier hominids and Homo erectus was the precursor of our own species Homo sapiens. So that's the exciting part of finding these prints uh, in, on this land. So I'm just brush, brushing off one of the best examples that we've found so far of this trail of hominid footprints and it indicates a foot uh, that's got very much the modern human condition. It's got a well-defined ball and you can see the arch of the foot and the, the uh, big toe and the other toes uh, in line with that, uh, with the big trail of footprints that we have at, at um, at Illeret is like a, a snapshot and the prints are so well preserved and along with them of course are footprints of other animals living on that landscape.